13 ABC. Conklin and Company with 13 ABC Action News anchor Lee Conklin. First with what's happening behind the headlines and take three, our panel of political analysts. Morning, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Conklin and Company. Today on the program, we're going to preview uh, two very special events for two adorable little girls, both facing the incredible challenges that come with the accelerated aging disease called progeria. Parents of Kaylee Helco and Carly Kudzia join me a little bit later. But first in studio today, making his second appearance in studio on Conklin and Company is uh, the junior senator from Ohio, U.S. Senator, Republican Rob Portman. Senator, thanks for coming in. Lee, we great to be with you again. It, it is uh, a pleasure to have you. And I tell you, uh, Americans' heads are spinning right now, Senator, with the, uh, the confluence of, of events uh, that have uh, have happened over the last week, week and a half, and what is going to happen, what will happen yeah. moving forward. And as we tape here on Friday, uh, the U.S. House has just passed uh, the, uh, the, the bill or the measure, the resolution uh, to defund Obamacare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, your Ohio colleague, uh, House Speaker Boehner, basically putting the, uh, laying down the gauntlet, challenging the United States Senate now to uh, do the same. Uh, you don't have control, so where is this going? And, and like I said, I think that uh, when it comes to uh, the Affordable Care Act, the debt ceiling, uh, Americans don't know what to think right now. Yep. And it's all on the, the United States Senate. Yep. All on us. All uh, on you. Big job. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me back on Conklin you Company. Bet. And it is a difficult time and also, you know, it's an important time. Mm -hmm. Obamacare also starts being implemented in just a couple right. of weeks uh, with the exchanges. And the debt limit is approaching probably late October now, it looks like. So you got this combination, as you say. What they passed today was a defunding of Obamacare, but also a measure to keep the government operating mm -hmm. because the spending bills have not been done. So you have to the have appropriations. The, the appropriations, which you have to have as a continuing resolution, which basically continues the spending from last year. It's at the same level of spending from last from the current fiscal year. So the two are attached together. There's also some other extraneous stuff on it. And but the, those de are the deadline is October 1st. The new fiscal year is October 1st, right, correct? Right, right. September 30 is the last day of this fiscal year. So we've got to move on it and move quickly. I'm hopeful we'll take it up in the Senate. Uh, I'm told we're likely to have a vote on Wednesday. I suspect what will happen is, you know, Republicans will not try to filibuster the measure. In other words, we'll get it to the, to the floor for a vote, which I support. And then let's have a debate. Um, the defund Obamacare provision uh, will likely be struck from the bill uh, by the Democrats. They'll try to in any case, and I think they probably have the votes to do that. Mm -hmm. We have 45 Republican votes. Uh, they have 55 Democrat votes, and so by a simple majority, they can probably do that under a, some procedure that uh, the leader's probably going to use. I, I believe that the Obamacare provisions are bad for the economy, bad for the country. Uh, I've been supporting repealing it and replacing it with something better that actually does get at the cost issues in health care. Had a good conversation about that today here in Toledo with some of the uh, small business and uh, uh, health care leaders. But I think probably the funding part for the government will succeed and get through the process. Mm -hmm. That will go back to the House. And uh, I don't think there is likely to be a government shutdown as a result because I think that part will survive. But it's is, likely Is this a case of what we can, what we want less? A government shutdown or the Affordable Care Act? Uh, to a certain extent it is. I mean, you know, honestly, the Democrats control the, the Senate and they also control the White House, so it's not like, you know, we citizens are going to have much of a choice here uh, other than the, the, the political process. There'll have to be a debate and a vote on it. But uh, Harry Reid believes that Obamacare is uh, good policy, so he will, uh, and his Democrat. As the president does. Majority and, was, and, the president and, does. So. And, and many Democrats still, despite yeah. pushback now from some Democratic factions? Well, despite, uh, I don't know if it's pushback, Lee, but despite the facts, which is that uh, there are real problems in implementation. That's why the president just delayed for a year the business mandate. Um, we know that on October 1st, these exchanges are going to have difficulty. We are told that the, the software hasn't been tested. You know, you're going to have millions of people trying to get into the system. Our office is available to help, by the way. I don't support Obamacare, but I do support helping my constituents to try to deal with the reality of it, uh, assuming these exchanges are going to go into place. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not popular right now because it is increasing costs, because it's making it impossible for some people to keep the health care they have, which was one of the promises. 
and because it's just awful doggone complicated. <laughs> you know, it's it, tough it, to figure it out. It's really tough for uh, everybody to figure out. But uh, are you for, at this point, the president says he will veto, if it ever gets to his desk mm -hmm. and it gets through the Senate, uh, you can put the veto on this. But do you really believe that there is room for compromise, or does this have to be implemented as is, and then we see what happens uh, for major action to take effect? Yeah, I mean, again, the reality is uh, Senator Reid, who is the leader in the Senate, has the votes to be able to keep the Obamacare provision off the spending bills. Um, I will vote to keep it on, but he will vote the other way, as will his majority. And, and there, so Senator, there lies the frustration with the American people. Yep. Uh, voting you in, your colleagues in, mm -hmm. to figure this out. Mm -hmm. And the frustration is, uh, I think it's up here now. Uh, yeah, I share it. Let me tell you, as you know, I've been on the floor the last week with my own bill uh, that was blocked. And it's an energy efficiency mm -hmm. bill that makes all the sense in the world. It's bipartisan. It reduces energy costs. It creates more jobs, makes us less dependent on foreign oil, makes the environment cleaner. Uh, so where's of, the rub then? A lot of this came out of uh, Northwest Ohio, by the way. Owens, right. Illinois. And you're class tech? This week, I was I was just at a at a really interesting company uh, outside of Toledo that's doing great high tech work, very involved in efficiency, but we couldn't get it through because of the partisan gridlock. In other words, other issues. Is it because um, of spending the the cost of it? I mean, well, where, because people uh, offered amendments on uh, Obamacare and offered amendments on EPA and offered amendments on things unrelated to energy efficiency, and and those. Um, you know, the leader, uh, the Democrat leader didn't want to have votes on them. It didn't want to put his people through those votes, so he blocked the whole bill. Now, we're going to try to go back to it again after the continuing resolution, and I think we may have a plan to work through it. <laughs> but it's frustrating because there's some good things that Congress can and should do to get this economy moving. You know, our energy efficiency bill is a small one, but it's, it's one piece of that. But we should be reforming the tax code. We should be coming up with smarter regulations. Uh, we should be doing something on the spending side because the spending continues to outpace revenues dramatically and into the future it'll bankrupt the country. So, uh, and these things should be bipartisan and they often are, like our energy efficiency bill. We had a vote of committee in 19 to 3 uh, and yet it gets to the floor and the partisan gridlock takes over and so, you know, we, we got to figure out how to get together and solve these problems. Frustrating from both sides, no matter which side of the aisle you're on. If you're trying to get a bill passed, Republicans may block uh, the Democrats. I mean, it's just, yep. it, it's it's yeah. uh, got to be so frustrating. We're going to take a quick break, come back in just a minute. Uh, so much to talk about. The senator's going to stay with us for a few more minutes. Back on Continental Company right after this.